I didn't see you there. You are watching Sweet Beat TV only on SweetieHigh.com. Hi there, I'm G, and I teamed up with Sweetie High and M Magazine for a summer filled with nail art and so much more. Welcome to my special series, G Nails! This summer, I will be bringing you G Nail designs inspired by so many things that I love with all kinds of different cool themes. Today, in this episode, we are doing Shark Week Nails. We are going to be doing a shark with his mouth wide open on our thumb. And then on the remaining nails, we are going to be doing a glitter ombre inspired by the ocean. First, we are going to apply the base coat, as always, to protect the natural nail from stains and just nail polish damage in general. Now that our base coat is dry, we are going to take this light blue color, any light shimmery blue color will do, and we are going to apply this to our thumb. And while we're waiting for that to dry, we are going to bounce around to our other nails and we are going to take a different kind of blue. We want to take, I guess you could call this a Tiffany seafoam kind of blue, and we are going to apply this to the rest of the nails. Now we are going to apply a second coat of our more sheer polish, which is going to be the background for the shark. We are going to go into the detail of the shark. To make this shark a little less scary and a little more cute, we are going to use a metallic polish, which has a little bit of shine in it. Start by creating a circle shape at the tip of the nail. We're gonna kind of create kind of like an arrow shape. I'm gonna take my toothpick or orange stick now I'm gonna get into that kind of pointy area. I'm taking my actual polish brush again, and there you go, you've got the shark's body. We are going to take a red polish, I'm actually using acrylic paint, and we are going to take our detail brush right here. This is gonna be the inside of the shark's mouth. Here's a little tip. If you get any nail polish anywhere other than your nails, such as a table or a couch, make sure not to use nail polish remover. That only works on your nails and it will ruin your furniture. While we're waiting for this shark design to dry a little bit before we apply the eyes and the rest of the teeth, we're going to go into the ombre manicure. So I'm gonna teach you how to do a very simple ombre manicure. It looks complicated, but it's super simple. I'm gonna take a little bit of this glitter polish. You're gonna have a fair amount of polish on the brush. You're gonna start on the tip and almost like you're doing a French tip nail, you're gonna run it across the end of the nail. So the whole thing with ombre is you want it to fade. So you wanna have the most on the tip and you want it to fade as you get higher up on the nail. And now, this is a very important step, you wanna wipe off all of the polish on your brush. Wipe it all off so there's just a tiny, tiny bit remaining. And this is where you're gonna create kind of the final detail. And then finally, you wanna get a little more polish onto the brush and run over the tip again. Now we are going to go back to the shark and finish that up. I'm taking a striper brush in white and I'm going to outline this red area that we've made. We're gonna go in for the teeth. Now we are going to go in for the little eyes. So I'm taking a black acrylic paint. I'm gonna take my orange stick for this one just because I want a very small small eyes. And you want these eyes to be super far apart. One way over here, one way over here. To finish off your shark-tastic nail art, <laughs> we are going to apply a top coat to add some extra shine and make sure your shark manicure stays. There you go, your shark nails are complete. Nailed it! Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy your shark week. Don't forget to pick up your issue of M Magazine. I love Sweetie High, that's Sweetie with a Y, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. This episode, dog with a blog nails. Jazz up your nails with a little bit of bling, and I'm using these rhinestones. There's a bunch of different sizes, which is great. If you're gonna be a Radio Disney DJ, you gotta be a Radio Disney fan. I've got the app. So see, it's so simple to do, but it really looks, you know, pretty intricate.